5-axis machining enables you to machine complex parts with shorter cutters, reducing vibration and improving surface finish. You can machine the whole part in a single setup, saving you time and eliminating errors. 5-axis positioning allows you to create 2 and 3-axis features in multiple setups and run them in a single program with all the necessary indexing moves. This eliminates the need for extra fixturing, saving you time and increasing accuracy. So on a part like this, I would just bring it in, make sure it is set up properly, go to my stock properties and the indexing tab, and I can activate 5-axis positioning. This fixture location button helps me decide what my reference point is, along with my touch-off point. And I have these ordering options where I can decide whether to go with tool dominant ordering or setup dominant ordering. Once I've made those settings, I just create setups and program the part normally with 2.5D or 3D features, including feature recognition. When the part's programmed, I can run as full simulation. I can see the toolpath along with all of the indexing moves. And of course, my code will be 5 axis code. With 5 axis simultaneous machining, the orientation of the tool axis can be continuously varied, which allows for much greater flexibility. By changing the tool axis, we can avoid collisions with the part, allowing for the use of shorter, more rigid tooling, which will give you a better surface finish. Creating 5 axis toolpath is rather easy. Just create normal surface milling features, and then select the 5 axis tab to have access to all of your tool axis control options, such as multi axis options and gouge avoidance options. FutureCam's machine simulation can then be used to verify that your toolpath will run collision free. FeatureCam's simultaneous 5-axis milling also offers two specialized 5-axis strategies, 5-axis trim and 5-axis swarfing that will give you more flexibility when programming your complex parts.